Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here, time for another Red vs. Blue blind commentary. So yeah, today I look at the first half of Season 3. Yeah, I decided to again split the volume in half. Uh, I looked at it all together and that, that just seemed like the best way to go with this one, uh, given the length. Uh, the videos are going to be a bit longer than they were for Season 2, uh, like an hour and 10 minutes as opposed to 50 minutes. But, uh, yeah, this just seemed like the better way to go as opposed to splitting it into, like, three 45-minute videos. I, uh, I thought about that, but I'm trying to get through this pretty quickly, so I, I just figured this would be a little better. And, I mean, you get a little more content each, each week, so I think you'll be pretty happy about that. So, yeah, this time we're looking at episodes 39 through 49, I believe, uh which by number, again, is most of the season, though I think the longer episodes are next time. So, uh, yeah, it works out. This is, time-wise, about half of the season. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we left off at a pretty interesting place with the reds and blues coming together and then being split up into different pairs, uh, or, well, in one case, not really a pair. And I think it was uh, Griff and uh, Griff and Caboose. Uh, no, no, it was Sarge and Caboose. Griff and uh, Church and uh, Simmons was alone. And then, of course, uh, what's his name? The other uh, uh, oh, Donut and uh, how could I forget Donut? <laughs> Yeah, Donut is back at uh, the camp with uh, Tex and Sheila, and uh, yeah, the uh, Tucker was injured, and uh, the AI I think possessed Doc and ended up taking Lopez. So uh, yeah, that's where we are, and uh, <laughs> I'm curious to see what happens with the characters all split up like this and in different arrangements, different personalities that we haven't really seen interact yet uh, are together and uh, it could be, it could really be pretty interesting. So let's get started and see how it goes. Okay, and here we go. And we got Tucker. Still not looking so good. Come on, Mr. Blue Guy. You gotta wake up. Mr. Blue wake Guy. Up. It hurts. Just let me die. You can't <laughs> die. I'm bored. All these girls want yeah. to talk about his chick stuff. <laughs> not the fun chick stuff like ribbons and unicorns. Yeah. Ribbons and unicorns. But I often find them staring at things they really shouldn't be. <laughs> See? Boring stuff like oppression and a hostile work environment. Get Doc. Uh, I need Doc. I can't. He got possessed by the evil guy and they escaped. He is the one that shot you. Don't you remember? I know. I want him to shoot me again. Now, now, now. Sounds like someone's got a case of the poor me's. If you were gonna die, you would've done it by now. Maybe you uh, just need to realize you're gonna have to live with intense pain. Get that- <laughs> Have him make me a new body. Oh, we can't. We're out of parts because we overused that joke. And Sarge left with the other- We overused that joke, that's great. But don't you worry. They left a long time ago, so I'm sure they'll be back any minute. Simmons had a foolproof plan to catch him. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Is anybody here? Foolproof. Just- Great. I guess we all got separated in the teleporter. Sarge, this is Simmons 2.0. Do you read me? Simmons 2.0. Apparently your plan to chase Lopez and Doc has failed miserably. I appear to be stuck in some kind of nexus of teleporters, which could take me anywhere in the universe. Or it's a janitor's closet. Hell, I don't fucking know. Sarge, right there. Sarge! <laughs> Whoa, That's great. Do you read me? Do I read you? Anyone? Anybody? Nobody? Okay. Well, I don't think the others are coming. We must have gotten separated somehow. My toes are getting pruney. Oh, uh -huh. Okay. Why don't we try to find O'Malley? I know where you can find O'Malley. He lived inside my helmet for a while. Maybe he left an address to send his mail. We were yeah. Like Sounds like he took some of the furniture when he left. <laughs> and the drapes. I wouldn't expect to get that deposit back, if you know what I mean. Sergeant! Oh! Look! A sleeping person! What? Holy macaroon! 
He's not sleeping, son. He's dead. Oh, good. Ah. At first, I thought that was me. Because I am blue. And <laughs> asleep. But if he is dead, that cannot be me. That would be silly. No doubt he was killed by our very enemy. Once again, I find myself torn. On the one hand, there's one less blue in the universe. But now Doc's got a bigger body count than me. And that just won't do. No, sir. Rest in peace, scumbag. Look. Oh. More sleeping people. It must be nap time. Uh-huh. It's nap time now. Nap time comes before pants time. Not oh. after. Uh, I think these people are just making up times. What uh, does Samuel Helsinki have in here? It must have been an enormous battle. Hello? Is anyone okay? Are there any survivors? Yeah, it doesn't look there like it. Any red survivors? <laughs> Don't let that discourage you from speaking up if you're blue. I won't step on your neck or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I allowed to answer. Shh, quiet. Yes, that noise oh. is called water. It is very wet and very sloshy. I was talking about the trumpet. Blue. Yeah. I have to go to the bathroom now for some reason. <sighs> which is odd because I already went when we were standing in the creek together. Wait a minute, I know that song. That's Reveille. But why would someone be playing Reveille in the middle yeah! of the... Oh, oh. Running time. Well, that was unexpected. What just happened here? <laughs> yeah. I think all oh, the sleepy people were trying to. Kill. That was rhetorical. <laughs> Get over here. Give me a boost. Okay. You are a good person, and uh -huh. people say nice things about you. Ah, a great boost. More on a physical one. I need to see what's in that window. That window is very high. I don't think you are tall enough. I know. I need you to help me look through it. I don't think I am tall enough either. Also, my head is round. That window is square. <sighs> Whoa! What do you see? I see a room. And what's in the room? There are some walls and some ceilings. Wait, uh -huh. just one ceiling. What's making all that racket? <laughs> <Kill the red, laughs> be kill hard the to red, have more than one. Kill the red, kill the red. You are not going to like it. Caboose, I have a very bad feeling of it. What's that? Uh. Okay. Wow. Sarge, I am scared of our new friends. Sonny Bono, what's going on here? Uh, look alike to me. Everyone, everyone, look unto me. I possess the blue flag. It's more beautiful than I ever imagined. I have seen the top of the mountain, and you will worship me as though I were a god. Yeah. This is intense.
Oh. I have no earthly idea what it is I just saw or what this place is or where in the hell O'Malley is. My only choice is to blame Griff for coming up with such a flawed plan. <laughs> stupid, stupid Griff. That's only fair. Where is Church? I need Church to tell me what to think. Church can handle this. He can handle anything. Hey, asshole. Yeah. Last time. Let me out of this goddamn jail cell! Yeah, let him out. He's driving me nuts. Oh, shut up, Red. Nobody asks you. I should have never listened to Donut's stupid fucking plan. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Now that we have our own YouTube channel, I've taken the liberty of reorganizing everything for a streamlined viewing experience. Just hit subscribe to put it to use. You're supposed to convince them to subscribe, not put them to sleep, you loser. <sighs> I hate him so much. Okay, let's see. If I wire this thing into that, and maybe I can signal boost on that thing there, I might just be able to get that to work. Caboose! Caboose! Keep away from me! Get that one! And that one! No, no! The one with the limp! Get him! Sarge, is that you? I don't want to kill, but I don't want to die Sarge, anymore! Sarge! Caboose! Can you hear me? Yes. I heard you, Sergeant. I didn't say anything, numb nuts! Caboose! We have to break this never-ending cycle of attack and retaliation, either by A, convincing the two sides to live in peace, or B, by getting ourselves completely involved, and kicking some serious ass! I vote B. I have a plan, Sergeant. <laughs> nice spelling there, by the way. Cabose. Do you think that will work? That's your plan? All you said was whisper, whisper, whisper. I know. <laughs> I just wanted to be the one with the plan for once. Uh, come on. Good idea. Whisper, whisper, whisper is a great plan. Speech. This sucks. I'm gonna <laughs> Yeah. Oh, blue team. Look what I have. Ah. Oh, blue team. Look what. Wait. I messed up my line. Let's start over. Yeah.
Wow, these guys. Seems to be working. Michael J. Caboose. And Michael J. Caboose. It's the beast! Uh, the anti flag! Come to live among us and rule us for seven years! The end is nigh! You oh! <laughs> okay! Wow! Craig Gustavo, what's going on down there? Uh, Caboose, can you hear me? Zerum's 2.0! I reconfigured a teleporter to allow me to communicate with you. I need to get you guys out of there. Yeah, right, we need to get out of here. Get to your teleporter and I'll see what I can do from here. Okay. And Sarge? Yeah. It's really great to see you again. Oh, kiss my ass some other time. Whatever you say, sir. <laughs> Definitely sounding like a <laughs> online match between so, uh, just subscribe and keep watching YouTube. kids. Modifications, huh? Yeah. The maestro Lu Blam is <laughs> Lopez. Excellent. Now to bring together my enemies. Oh, dude, come on, you got it. And this guy. Hey, dude, it's Vic. No solo mio, not in the casa right now. So leave a message and I'll call you back. Just leave your WhatsApp at the yo. Yo. Oh, hey, Dr. Baron Von Evil Satan. What's up, dude? <laughs> dude, you don't come up on caller ID. I'm not just going to answer anything. And I see we're now showing him from behind. I guess they realized the front shot is kind of creepy. <laughs> also, the moon. Background. Or are we on the moon? It's hard to tell. Oh, cool. Kind of looks like it. Thanks for turning that around so quick, dude. I know you're swamped. In the okay, dude. Looking forward to that. <laughs> that brought you back here. So, theoretically, 
Theoretically, what if these teleporters should transport us back to Blood Gulch or anywhere else that we want to go? Do you understand? Yes. No. What does theoretically mean? I probably could have saved a lot of time by telling you these things work by magic. I thought you told me so Yeah. Well. I liked all the parts with me in them. Any idea which ones go where? Yeah, and, um, not really. I found you two guys by accident, and I don't want to start using teleporters at random. We should definitely take the green one. Okay, be quiet now. We've got to find a way to contact them. Come in, Sergeant Dude. Hello, oh. Sergeant Dude, are you there? Big. Got some big news for you, dude. Bad news, Tucker. I just picked up a feed. You've been tagged. Tagged? That sounds bad. Unless it means something sexual. Does it mean <laughs> something sexual? It means something bad. Oh, yeah, like that's a surprise. Someone's hired a freelancer to take you out. Do you have any idea why? I can't say. Keeping secrets? I find that attractive. You do? Oh. You attractive people. Yeah. Do you know who's But not you. A guy I know from training. Name's Wyoming. <laughs> Wyoming. <laughs> Oh. Okay. What happened to Florida? I still owe you one. So if I take care of Wyoming, we're square. Deal? You realize that you want to protect me from a guy who's trying to kill me. What am I going to say? No? I'll take that as a yes. Eureka's hammer, I got it. Well, I guess Tucker's doing a lot better. He's the one with the bomb in him, right? Uh, well, that could be bad. Set 
got their teleporter to take them straight to Sidewinder? I walked Donut through it. He says he did everything right, but I figure they have a 50-50 chance of ending up in Sidewinder or in the middle of deep space. What about us? I programmed ours myself. We're fine. I find hmm. the risks acceptable. I never knew a Philip screwdriver was the X-1. Do you think it's named after a guy named Philip? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Here comes the cavalry. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Uh, sir, the teleporter I reprogrammed is over there. Ah. Okay. Heads up, evildoers. Here we come to save the... Ah, oh, forget it. Let's just go. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows but Jesus. <laughs> you, know, you just can't face the fact that I've adjusted life on the inside. I'm hard now! Please, give me a break. As a prison bitch, I would not expect you to understand. What's going on out there? Oh man, maybe our crew's come to bust us out of the joint. I don't know if I can live on the outside anymore though, Church. I'm all institutionalized and shit. <laughs> of course. Is winning. It can't possibly be our guys. Hey, screw! Aren't you gonna go help your buddies? Oink oink. Hello, oh. Judge. Wyoming. What are you doing here? Ah, this is Wyoming. Seems he's discovered some information that someone else isn't happy about. Who's this cracker? No, he's just some scumbag bounty hunter that was in the same division as Tex. Ah, oh, yes, dear Tex. After I take care of your little friend Tucker, I'll be taking care of her as well. When I get out of here. But you won't. Everyone here is dead now. No one even knows where you are. So I suppose now you'll just have to starve to death. <laughs> Cheerio. We gotta find a way to escape, Chris. If only we had bed sheets. There's no window. Uh, what good is tying together bed sheets gonna do us? Who said anything about tying them together? I wanna take a nap. If I have to die of hunger, <laughs> I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> wow. Good luck, everyone. Take care. I packed you all lunches for the trip. Thanks, Sheila. That was really nice of you. Not really. All my bag had was an air filter and a thermos full of brake fluid. Make sure to wash your exhaust pipes every day. Bye, Sheila. We'll come back for you soon. I'll be waiting. <laughs> okay, here they come. <laughs> what? Yeah, I knew I could fix a teleporter. I guess these hands aren't just for manicuring after all. Wow. Yeah, that's a good point. Senior that armor. stopped happening. I'm rubbing you all over. Oh, let me help. <laughs> Absolutely, Admiral Buttercrust. Because hmm. that happened every time they used the teleporter earlier on. Disguised him somehow. Well played. <laughs> but now it only happens to Tucker. So what's the plan, Sarge? First, we need to locate Church and get that bomb defused. Then we can find Lopez, download our plans, and get back to fighting the blues. And find Griff. And we also need to find Griff. Right, sir? Well, not every plan is perfect, so I suppose we could accidentally find Griff along the way. <laughs> wow. Okay, Griff. He really does not like Griff. I can do to help us escape, but I gotta warn you. It might scare you a little bit. You want scary? You should try showering in cell block C. Those guys are animals. All right. Here it goes. You open the doors? That wasn't scary at all. What? I didn't do that. Somebody on the outside must have done it. All right, let's go. Freedom! It smells so sweet! Let's go rob a liquor store on the way home. There. You are all clean. Thanks. But you didn't need to spend so much time on the cod piece, Donut. A three-girl uh, waxing is just my way of saying I can <sighs> Well, there we are, mate. Hello, Wyoming. Oh. Why don't you stop pointing that gun at my friend? Allison, good to see you. How's our dear friend Omega? You tell me. He hired you, didn't he? Now, how did you know that? When someone lives in your head for a few years, you get to know him. Where is he? Oh, he'll be along shortly. Very shortly. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Omega. Only so. now you realize the folly of your ideal chit-chat. Evil wind! <laughs> Good sucks, Nick. I'm really sorry about this, sir. I mean, ma'am. I mean, miss. Oh, shut up. Greetings, fellow web surfer. Be sure to subscribe to
to our channel before you go. It'll be just like we're friends. Not that I need friends. <laughs> uh, please don't go. <laughs> you fools have fallen right into my hands. Only now do you realize the folly of your follies. <laughs> Prepare for an oblivion, for which there is no preparation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Smiley, the reds and blues are working together now. You can't hope to beat us. You fool. My metallic friend is the only ally I need. Lopez, activate weather control routine. Okay. Okay, wow. Well, uh, that's an interesting feature. Are you feature. the sign of some ancient technology? No, I used to draw them on my binder during study hall. I always wanted to use them for something. Aren't they cool? Ah. Oh, Samson's back here. They found our secret weapon. I developed a weather control device, but I was missing one critical piece of technology to make it work. <laughs> yes. And now that I've located those D batteries, the universe will be Wow. <laughs> D batteries. Serious? You couldn't find D batteries. Only at gas stations, and they're just so darn expensive there. What's going on? You want the long version or the short? Basically, you've got a 50 megaton bomb in your gut. Ten, sir. And Lopez is about to kill us all. That didn't make any sense. What's the long version? That was the long version. The short version is, we're boned. <laughs> Okay, well this works. <laughs> we need to disarm Church's bomb, Sarge. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hold still, son. This will just take a second. Don't you ever install anything above the waist? Oh no! That last lightning bolt fused the detonator. There's no way to turn this thing off. Can you do it manually? Impossible. I specifically designed it so that I wouldn't be able to defuse it. Why? In case I fell into the wrong hands. And was brainwashed to help the blues. Nice thinking, sir. You had to get just one last ass kiss in before we died, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Of course you Wow. Yeah. I'm being violated. Church, there's only one thing I can do. Hey, what the hell? There's only 20 seconds left. If I blow you up before the bomb goes off, there's at least a small chance the rest of us will live. But the rocket will kill me. 10 seconds. You're going to die anyway when the bomb goes off. What can I tell you, pal? Misery loves company. Five seconds. Sorry, Church. Man, this blows. You guys suck. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Private Talker, but I always get my man. Say goodbye, mate. Uh, guys, I hate to interrupt, but zero seconds. Uh-oh. What? Oh, son of a... Uh... Oh. Well? What the... The bomb must have gone off. Where are we? Are we dead? I don't want to be dead! I want to be alive! <laughs> or a cowboy! Dead? Uh, all these clocks. And I want to eat all that I could. We're not dead, idiots. We're 
stuck in some kind of temporal. Oh no! Heads up, boys! Prepare for impact! What happened? Hey, he's awake! I still want to know why I don't get a laser gun. Shut up, dumbass. Guys, Tucker's awake! Huh? Hey, 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 take it easy, Tucker. You've been out a while. And I thought I was lazy. What's going on? Who are you people? She has amnesia! Tucker, don't worry. You are safe. We're the Reds. We are your mortal enemies. Wait, that didn't sound right. Uh, Tucker, I am so glad you are alive. Caboose? Still so dumb, but you look so different. We're in the future. Things uh, are very shiny here. <laughs> it does look different, I have to say. Oh, I can't fucking wait to hear this one. Obviously, Lomax's weather matrix combined with the power of Bomb 21 to create an explosion so I'm large, guessing we switched to another game. Rift in time that cascaded throughout the board. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. I don't understand. Sarge, can we do the skit now? Yeah! Yes! I don't want to do that dumb skit. Fine, but only because I want to see Griff be miserable. I mm -hmm. the old days. Great! Places, everyone! <clears throat> the Red vs. Blue players present a Franklin Donut play. <laughs> Franklin Donut. Franklin Donut. Can we just start? Uh, uh. And action. Hello, weary traveler. We represent the timeline. I am the past, where things cost less, and people knew the value of a hard day's work. But they only lived to be 28 years old. And I am the future, where people have no morals and no emotions, but we have a bunch of kick-ass gadgets. Uh -huh. I am the present, which sucks. We have nothing cool and also no morals. And I am the helpful narrator, a faceless voice used by poor writers. You have a face, I think. Shut up! <laughs> You're ruining my play! <laughs> Everything was fine with the timeline until one day in the present. Why does bad stuff always happen in the present? Because that's when people do stuff. Yeah. Uh, your bitching. I have atrocities and a crap load of wars that seemed very important at the time, but now seem trivial and stupid. Yeah, and I've got Apocalypse. That's way worse than anything you two dipshits have. Sorry, sir. That dipshit was in character. Oh. Well, bravo, Simmons. <laughs> the present, a terrible thing happened. Enter stage left. Hello, I am stupid Private Tucker. I am going to set off a big bomb now and totally mess things up for everyone. Because I am stupid. Turns around. Hello, present. I'm going to set off a bomb in you. Don't do that, stupid Private Tucker. That might kill me. Think about this for a moment. Kaboom, stop <laughs> reading the stage directions. Yeah. <laughs> you told me I was supposed to read anything with my name in front of it. Just the lines, not the blocking. You're ruining my big debut. I do not think we are meshing artistically. I think you should talk to my agent. This is stupid. I quit. You can't quit. End scene. This has been a Franklin Donut joint. Listen, son, you and your buddy Church set off a bomb, which when combined with the weather machinery in Lopez, made an explosion so large it destroyed the present. Destroyed the present? Then where are we? We're in the future, num uh... Aren't we in the present right now? Aren't we always in the present? Unbelievable. He can't cope with the loss. He's in denial. That is so sad. Son, <laughs> he's not listening. The present has been destroyed. It no longer exists. We are in the future. Uh huh. That makes no sense. I'm currently working on a short film to explain it. Tom Cruise has a script, and I hear he's very interested. You're telling me a bomb sent us into the future? Yeah, you see, luckily Church was facing forward when the bomb went off, and we were standing in front of him, so that sent us forward into the future. Of course he was facing forward. What other way can people face? You see? <laughs> what happened to Church? Hmm. Never really thought about him. Yeah, weird. I, I guess he's dead. Sounds good to me. Let's go with that. He could be hurt and trapped in the present. That's impossible, son. The present doesn't exist anymore. What you're proposing just isn't very good science. Don't you see? If Church was facing forward during the explosion, and that blew us into the future, that could mean that he was blown backward into the... Oh, no. Backwards into what? The wall? A broom closet? A big rock? Another big rock. <laughs> into the past. 
Heck yeah. Oh. What the okay. Hell? Where the hell am I? Interesting. Hello, Nick. I'm here to talk to you about subscribing to our channel. And done. Bye. What the heck just happened? Going straight on Planet of the Apes there. Gotta love it. Hey, how about this? How about we explore more than two square miles before we jump to any conclusion? Yeah. Nuclear weapons. That's what did it. And the explosions caused massive power outages, which caused the failsafe to fail, which released a super bacteria from a secret lab. Oh come on. That caused a huge plague, and as the victims died, they rose from the dead 12 hours later to roam the earth. Yeah. Human flesh. Yeah. A handful of gritty survivors from all walks of life were able to keep the legions of the infected radioactive undead at bay, using only their wits and an inexplicable comprehension of agricultural science and engineering. Everything was looking good. And that's when the meteor hit. I think you just quoted every crappy Hollywood apocalypse movie ever. <laughs> Hollywood doesn't understand apocalypse. They think that just one thing from everyday life goes away and that changes everything. Like in Road Warrior, it was gas, and in Waterworld, it was land. What went away in the Matrix? Sunlight. I thought the missing element was plot. I'm talking about Matrix wow. 1. Oh, right. Face it, Simmons. The age of man is done. If all that happened, then where are the zombies? Why aren't they still around? The meteor killed them. And what about the super bacteria? It was infected by alien bacteria brought by the meteor and uh, wiped out in a massive uh, bacteria on bacteria plague. Very odd. Okay. Okay. Then why haven't we been infected by the new alien bacteria? It only infects other bacteria. Are you even listening to me? Do you have everything you've done? Or do you just stand around and talk all day? We don't get paid enough to do stuff. But what about Cherry, idiot? How are we going to get him from the past to the future? I guess he can just wait. That's how it usually works. But when he gets to the present, he'll just be destroyed like everything else. Well, he'll just have to fix it on his own then. And if he's successful, he'll get to live through the coolest apocalypse of all time. Simon, script, get your keisters over here. Look what I found. I found it. Look at what I took credit for finding. <laughs> These two actually accomplished something. It looks like some kind of an alien transport mechanism that could be used to... Or it's a jeep. You have no Wow. Mm, let me see if I can get this thing working. How? There's no parts. Now what are you going to use for fuel? Griff is right, Simmons. You don't have any imagination. Thank you, sir. Shut up, scumbag. <laughs> I'm not having a moment. Hey, we need to find church. He's dead, son. Why haven't you given up hope yet and just moved on? It's only been a couple of hours. Well, this should make you feel better. When his body blasted into smithereens, at least he took all our enemies with him. Are we sure about that? Oh. Well. That's not good. That's pretty understandable. Uh-huh. Why? Uh, for style? For chicks. What chicks? There's no one for miles. We don't even 
know if anyone's still alive. What, suddenly you're a pessimist? Yeah, but if we do find some women, we will literally be the last men on Earth for them. He's right. All my life, I've had girls tell me, not if you were the last man on Earth. <laughs> well, that may be true, but let's see what happens when I'm the last man on Earth with a sweet-ass, pimped-out ride, bitch. If you ladies are wow. gossiping, I could use some help fixing our vehicle. Oh, yeah, right. Here, let me try. Wait. <laughs> oh. Donut, are you okay? I was just petting the bunny, and then it went into the soup can, and part of my hand went with it. Oh. Bunny and hand soup, just like mom used to make. No, no, I told you not to touch anything. You touched everything. That's the exact opposite of touching nothing. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm getting in the Jeep. What are we, on a date? Get in the back. Oh, you're so insecure. Well, you two shut up. We need to get this thing fixed. I feel dizzy, Sarge. Oh, that's just blood loss. Uh. You blood, you just need some orange juice. What's the rush on getting this thing fixed, anyway? Listen, dirtbag. I know on Blue Team you like to lollygag a bit. There is no Blue Team. It's all a lie. Red and Blue are the same. Oh, don't start that crap again. You sound like a conspiracy nut when you talk about hmm. that stuff. The government put a chip in my brain. <laughs> the president can hear my thoughts. We never landed on the sun. <gasps> they put fluoride oh. in my water. Actually, that one's true. It is? No wonder mm -hmm. I listen to so much pop music. We're <laughs> because we need to be prepared. Your enemies are no doubt preparing to attack us at this very moment. But you guys think I'm your enemy and I'm not preparing to do anything. Except get L-A-I-D. Yeah. Late. Yeah, we can spell. We just think that was fucking weak. <laughs> <laughs> yes! This place will do nicely for an evil laugh. It's diabolically designed. As a student of Feng Shui, I can tell you this house is 88% good luck. Also, very breezy. I like the floor plan. Why did you fool? No mas quiero un cuarto solo para mí. No me gusto compartir con el vacío. Hello? Is anyone home? Don't be alarmed. We're only here to kill you and take all your possessions. Excellent. No doubt our very presence. Scared everyone away! <laughs> Why don't we just see if this place is listed by a licensed real estate agent? Oh, shut up! But yeah. We don't even know if it's been inspected recently. It could need foundation work. Podría tener molde. Both of you, shut up! We're moving in and that's final. It has machine gun turrets, two living quarters with ample closet space, and a short commute to my secret laboratory! It's perfect. Yeah, but what about the school district? <laughs> it's important to think about resale value, Lopez. Resale value? Our plan is to rule the world, not make prudent investments. It's important to tener un plan de retraso. Oh, shut up. We're moving in. That's fine. Hey, look, a computer. Now I can finally update my blog. Wow. Yeah, it's great. It's just like being a real journalist. But without all the hassles like liability and accuracy. No! I need that computer for compiling evil formulas and to rebuild the weather machine. Also to download music. Can get a phone portal de couple in vita. Oh, I do. Tengo 40 mil a dar. Es muy exclusivo. Where's the mouse on the stick? And that's one of those little red rubber dot thingies on the keyboard. That's way better than a mouse. Uh. I call it the nubbin. Who wants to touch my nubbin? Uh-huh. Oh, well, that looks nice. Oh, my God! A giant person! <laughs> yeah, oh. Coming along nicely. That's Excellent quite the weapon. <laughs> what labor are you actually doing like that? Hey, we should start a neighborhood association. It's just like a government wow. run by housewives and old people. So it's a lot more efficient in controlling your life. Get out of my <laughs> But I don't mind sharing. Don't you remember that talk we had about sharing? Shut up! At last! My pilgrimage is oh. over. I have reached the One of these guys. Land. Ah, 
carga de la bomba cuando quemo. Hello, what do you want? The disembodied voice of God. I hear you, Holy One. I have made it to the temple and await your command. Up here, hello. <coughs> Red four on. Eyes up. Chop chop. Oh, greetings. Are you the gatekeeper of the temple? Us? No, we just moved in. Can you help us move a couch? And do you know any good restaurants nearby? Just a second. Listen, you fool. Let me handle this. I don't know. You haven't been the best choice when it comes to making friends. Maybe I should try. Nonsense! With the proper handling, this fellow will make an excellent stooge. And I'm the one here with the most experienced training stooges. Isn't that right, Lopez? Yuck, yuck. <laughs> okay, you can handle this. But I get to hang my motivational <laughs> nice. in the living room. Hang in there, kitty! Fine. Wow. That cat will never make it to Friday. Yes! I am the guardian of the temple. What do you want? I have traveled great distances in search of enlightenment. Really? That's perfect. We have tons of that in here. But listen, we mm -hmm. just can't let anyone in who wants to get in, so goodbye. Tons of enlightenment. Wait, I will do anything. Just tell me what I need to do to gain entrance. Psst, ask him what he knows about gardening. <laughs> Maybe he knows how to use that computer we found. Exactly as planned, Sarge. Did you find something? Wait a minute. Where's the jeep? Yeah, it's like this. Riff, I just built that jeep. I don't want to hear that it's been destroyed. Oh, well then maybe I should stop talking. <laughs> wow. Riff, no, no, it's not destroyed, Sarge. The engine just quit. And what exactly were oh. you doing when the engine died? Duh, getting the jeep out of the ditch. What was the jeep doing in a ditch? Well, I can tell you what it wasn't doing, and that's reenacting the coolest scene from the Dukes of Hazard ever. Uh. Simmons was driving. No, I wasn't. I was holding the arrows and the dynamite. Wow. Second, this thing isn't busted. It's just out of gas. It runs on gas? Of course not, moron. Where are we going to get gasoline? I modified the fuel cells to utilize a form of coal fission. Powered by solar energy. So then why is it dead, sir? You would have had to park it in the shade for at least two hours. What were you doing parked in the shade for two hours? Well, I can tell you what we weren't doing. Ah, oh, forget it. Come on. Help me push this thing in the sunlight. One, two, three. <laughs> Hernia. Hernia. <laughs> Man, this thing weighs a ton. Holy crap. Wowzers. Dumbass. Oh, right. Griff, what happened to this fender? It was like that when we took it out. And where's the hubcap? Man, this neighborhood's really going to crap. <laughs> I gotta buy those in sets of four, and I'm nuts. Jeep's getting power. Turn that crap off. Come in. Does anyone read me? Over. What the? Who's that? This is Freelancer Tech. Oh. For anyone from the Blood Gold Good to no, know she's still around. Hang up on her. Good idea. I have found O'Malley's base. O'Malley? Son of a... Where is she? They seem to be holed up in some kind of fortress. I'm not Maybe we can use the radio to triangulate her position. How? We only have one radio. We need a third point to triangulate. Okay. <laughs> 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 us. What? That's not a triangle, you idiot. That's a line. Right. A line that we'll follow straight to text. It's the perfect mathematical plan. Hey, Griff, why don't you just stick to criticizing other people's ideas instead of coming up with your own? It does seem to be my talent. I could simulate a third radio by using some of this sand and the heat from the Jeep's tailpipe to make an enormous refractory lens. And then... Or we could just listen to the coordinates that she's sending. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we could do that, too. <laughs> well, that's probably a good idea. You really wanted to make the lens, didn't you? You're damn right. Well, we can make it later when we have more time. Oh, don't. I need you guys to come right away. Or better yet, send someone who can fight. What's up, Forever Alone? 
So, uh, you want to do something with your life, or you just want to sit around on your ass all day like a loser? Yeah, me too. So, uh, just subscribe and keep watching YouTube. It's way easier. Oh. Great road trip. My favorite part was when Griff tried to change gears and he accidentally. Uh, Please, let's not tell the story. Is there somewhere I can walk? Uh, What'd you find, Griff? <laughs> well, Valley's holed up in this fortress. He's been fortifying his defenses for a few days now, and he's got some help. One of those religious nuts you guys picked up. Oh, I liked them. They were funny. Caboose. They tried to kill they were pretty you funny. of a flag. I try not to remember the bad things about people. That's all they tried to do. There were no good things. That's okay. I have a really bad memory. Wow, look, a beach. Shut up, Caboose. Wow. Well, first we have to breach an outer wall. Oh, I love breaching. Then we have to get past another wall. Two walls? Some people are so materialistic. The second wall has a guard tower and an enormous razor-sharp spinning blade. What, that thing? It's spinning like two miles an hour. Yeah. Say it'd be hard to get past. No, that's where we plant this. We're planting a volleyball. It's not a ball. It's a bomb. We're planting a volleyball? I scouted a location inside the base where we could set it off and take the whole place down. I marked the spot with a big X. You scouted it. Yeah. If you got past the two walls, the huge spinning blade, the gun turrets, and made it all the way into the fortress, why didn't you just plant the bomb then, instead of putting an X on the floor? I can't carry it. What? What was that? Oh. Too heavy, okay? You happy? Yeah, kind of. I need one of you idiots to carry it. I don't have the upper body strength to move it on my own. See? Girls act like they're so tough. But the first time they need someone to move a couch, who do they call? Please don't kill me. Spare parts. Here. This thing doesn't look so heavy. Let me try. That thing ain't moving. I can carry it. I guarantee you'll need two people. No, it's true. He's got crazy strength. Church and I think it's God's way of compensating. See? Oh, balls, I guess he does. But I have no horns. Or lumberjack friends. Come on. No way it can be that bad. <laughs> Let me give it a... Oh. <sighs> okay. You can carry it. All right. Then we'll storm in there, blow up O'Malley, leave Grip for dead, and maybe find some clues about what happened to Church Lopez. <laughs> He keeps asking me if I've accepted the flag as my savior. I'm just not comfortable talking about religion in the workplace. Oh no, here he comes. Master! Headmaster! I have finished the duties you assigned me! You bought us all the guns? Yes, and the ammunition too! It was like cleaning the impurities from my very essence! What about the evil windmill? <laughs> I greased the engine and filled it with gas. It was like getting my own soul a tune-up! Yes, yes, alright, fine. Why don't you see about patching up some of these holes in the wall? I think there's some sinister spackle in the tool shed. Excellent idea, sir. It will probably help keep out that crowd of people that's been gathering on the beach. Yes, of course. All the people on the beach. Blah, 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 blah. Ah. Uh... Wait. What did he say? Wait, let me get this straight. Well. The biggest threat we know of is in Not going to be a surprise anymore. You don't want me to blow it up? We can. We need Lopez's head. It has valuable information stored in it. Sorry, I'm going with the bomb. But hey, here's an idea. Maybe you can find your buddy's head in the rubble when we're done. Come on. We can't lift the bomb, but we can dig through rubble. Sorry, but there is no way I'm letting O'Malley get away this time. Just hire her. What? Hire her to help you get Lopez back. She'll do anything for money. That's not true. It's not. I'll give you ten bucks to tear off Griff's arm. Which one's Griff? See, <laughs> really on the blue team. She was just paid to come help us. He's Griff. How do we pay her? We don't even have any money. We don't even know what He's money is in the future. <laughs> yeah, they could have shells or laser beams for currency. Laser beams. Yeah, that would be the coolest wallet ever. Why don't you trade her a favor? Huh? Not sure I'll how that would work. For you, and then you guys owe her a favor. That's how these freelancers get stuff done, right? That'll work. I'll help you, and then the two of you have to do something for me. Okay, we'll do it. Wait just a second. What would we have to do? It all depends. Depends on what? On what I need. To do some future job. But it could be anything. That's right. Anything. 
Like gay stuff? I have <laughs> Yeah. Always a good plan. By the time they have a chance to regroup, we'll already be inside. Oh, yeah, right. They're not going to get surprised. They're just going to start mowing us down. That's the inherent beauty of the single file line. They can only kill the person in front. So if we order from least important to most important, <laughs> you being in the front and me being in the back, then we just might make it through. Don't you think Kaboosh should be in the back since he's the one carrying the bomb? Nope. Kaboosh is in front of me. We need someone in back who can objectively evaluate how the plan is working. How are you going to know if it's not working? If Caboose dies, I'll know we're in trouble. And immediately abort! I think that's a good plan. Sorry, it's <laughs> the hardest idea I've ever heard. I just wanted to thank you for not being in front of the line. Don't get misty, Francine. Well, I've already killed you and used your corpse to jam up the windmill. Wow. I think we can all agree, given our current situation, it's the perfect plan. Okay, well, let me tell you about my other plan. Yeah. I'm hoping you've got a better idea. The Griff Cannon. Realizing the power of the Griff Cannon, we make a Griff sized hole in the outer wall. Griff Cannon. Painted a very disgusting color. The fools. They don't stand a chance against us. Do they miss? No. Los Macho Cameros. The flag is on our side. We will be victorious. Stupendous. To your battle stations. On to crushing victory! Fools don't stand a chance against our might! <laughs> yeah. What are you still doing there? I forget. Which battle station is mine? I'm still learning my way around the fortress. Let us see to I again. No tango, ningon, torso. Okay, is everyone ready? I have no torso. and I will move the bomb down the staircase. That does make things difficult. Get down, idiot! Run! 
under fire! Sarge, we're under fire! Good! Now jump up and draw them off! What'd he say? He was breaking up. I think he said something about staying here and not doing anything risky. Tex, see what you can do about that gun! You got it. Wow. <laughs> Don't have a lot of other options there. Take out that other turret. We'll head into the base and see if we can find O'Malley. Why do I have to go up against a machine gun and you guys get to go play hide and seek? The guy we're seeking has a rocket launcher. Oh, right. Oh, have fun doing that. Caboose, we'll hold him off from up here. You take the bomb and try to sneak in the front of the base. Okay. Wow, Sarge. You actually decided to sacrifice yourself for someone else. Quiet, Donut. I'm gonna need your help. The turrets have killed Caboose. I'm gonna need you to carry the bomb into the base. I can't see him from here. <laughs> Let's move out. Okay, but just... Whoa! Ah! Tucker, wow. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I dropped down into some kind of hole. Can you give me a hand? Oh, let me take out this turret. I'll be back for you later. What is that? <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, Grant, oh? we just need to jump through here. Okay, go for it. Me? Why me first? Because I don't want to die. But this thing's moving super slow. See? Yeah. <laughs> nice knowing you, Simmons. No! The girl with the bomb! You're ruining the plan! I'm pinned down! I need assistance! Hey, asshole! Oh! Well, that's cool. Is pretty uh, cool. Sniper rifle? No thanks, I'm good. X. Yeah. I'm looking for an X. That is a plus sign. Now wow. Wow. Find an X. Wow, caboose. Hello? Caboose, is that you? Can you hear me? Church? Oh. Where am I? Church is oh, back. Well, Plus sign. Okay, this will be interesting. Oh. Okay, thank you, Church. Bomb went on. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. You got knocked out. You woke up. You I wonder what game, game this is. The question is, where is here? Hello. You are early. Me? You are not supposed to be here for another 1,856 years. What is this place? This is the housing facility for the Great Neppen. I am the keeper of the Great Neppen. Ah. Uh. You are the Great Destroyer. You will demolish this facility, kill me, steal the Great Neppen, and bring about the Great Doom for billions of people. Malcolm, how many <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> don't know. Uh, society have any other adjectives besides great? The great prophecy warns the great destroyer will be a blue being. And you think that's me? The blue being will be known as the stupidest life form in the universe. Wait a second. This destroyer guy uh, I... he dresses like me, but he's dumber than anyone else in Caboose. Existence. Correct. Oh, crap. <laughs> Highly motivated. You're supposed to be helping me look for Lopez, meat sack. You said you saw him up here. We saw his head. Just the head? Yeah, it was operating the right turret. How's he pulling the triggers? He's very determined. You're sure <laughs> it's Lopez? Well, <laughs> that's all it takes. Spanish and bullets flying through the air. So either that was Lopez or this is Mexican New Year. Well, where's his head now? Uh, I don't know. Tex shot it. Hey, Tex. What? When you shot Lopez's head, where did it go? How do I know? Are you sure you hit it? I mean, is it possible that you missed? I mean, just this one time. It doesn't say anything about your overall skill level. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she says she doesn't know. Wow. I don't think she actually like said anything. Ooh, does it make cool noises when you swing it? I don't think so. No, wait. Is whoosh a noise? 
Someone's enjoying himself. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. And you found that in a hole? Yeah, dude, I was just walking along, following text, not really paying attention, you know. I fell in some hole, and uh, text didn't help me out. She figured she was better off without me. That's where I found this. You know, most people would tell that story in a way that makes them sound a little better. Yeah, but, you know, that's not really my style. <laughs> Damn, I never found something that cool in a hole. <laughs> Oh. Do me a favor and don't talk like that when I'm playing with my thing. Uh. Bruce, what are you yammering about? Did you find Lopez? Someone meaner. O'Malley? Meaner. You found someone meaner than the guy trying to destroy the universe. Yes. Caboose, is that you? Can you hear me? See? It's Church. And he's meaner than ever. Caboose, is that you? Can you hear me? Church. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Caboose, is that you? Can you hear me? I don't think Church. so. Wonderful. Account up timer. It goes from one to explode. Of course, the countdown timer is an idiot. Just don't touch anything. Don't look at anything. Don't breathe on anything. Message recorded. Do you think it will work? No. Like you said, man, that guy's dumb as a rock. <laughs> Less stupid people around him that can kind of help him from time to time. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah. Yeah. On second thought, I better get back there and handle this personally. Now, if I can only get back to our old bases, maybe I can change some key events and keep them from getting there. Hey, do you have any way to teleport me to Blood Gulch? No, but working at full capacity, I could create a teleporter in approximately 1,000 years. A thousand years, huh? It's kind of a long wait. You know any jokes? Did you hear the one about the positronic brain? Oh yeah, it's the one with the active matrix and the... Yes, yeah. that's it. I just love that one. <sighs> yeah, it's funny. It's old, but... Yeah, it's funny. How about the one with the missing ship of the Irish expansion slot? Hey, come on, dude. Let's try to keep it clean. Hey, pull my dog, go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Hello everyone, now that we have our own YouTube channel, I've taken the liberty of reorganizing everything for a streamlined viewing experience. Just hit subscribe to put it to use. You're supposed Ugh. to convince them to subscribe, not put them to sleep, you loser. <sighs> and that's the last one for now. There we go. So yeah. That was pretty good. I'm uh, 
definitely enjoying it a bit more as it gets a bit more ambitious with its storytelling and a bit more interesting just overall. Uh, I, I'm glad that we did, in fact, explore other locations. I mean, we haven't really, uh, very little of this was at the old uh, camp that they had before. So uh, it, it's cool to get out there and see these other places and have uh, just uh, it not staying all in one spot the whole time. Uh, and it's good to see different character interactions, good to see the whole group all together, red and blue, and uh, just working as a single team. Uh, even though they uh, don't yet believe Tucker when he says that reds and blues are the same, uh, it's still, <laughs> yeah, them working together anyway. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's lots of funny interactions between the group, and the characters are continuing to stand out a bit more on their own, and uh, just, yeah, I think it's getting better in that regard as things get a bit more interesting and uh yeah the plot is pretty interesting too i mean we got time travel thrown in there and that's always good uh time travel via bomb <laughs> yeah I, I don't I, I don't know it seemed mostly like a way to just get to the new graphics which we we obviously had a big graphical upgrade here i guess this is when a new halo game came out and they switched to that one uh, and it looks just a lot better. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. That's uh, definitely a good thing. Uh, and I assume we'll be sticking with that at least until another Halo game comes out. And uh, then it'll get upgraded again. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it definitely looks better. And uh, it's... Uh, it's interesting how for Church they have some other, like, game from uh, a while back used to represent the past. So that's kind of clever, and uh, I don't know what that game is, but uh, it looks kind of Halo-ish, though different. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, the whole plot where we left off, it's kind of interesting. We're trying to take on O'Malley, or... Omega, as he was called at one point, which is interesting, uh, and he's a weird character. Uh, I, I like the interactions with him and Doc, that internal thing that they got going there. That's always kind of fun. Uh, there's a big difference of personality, and you throw Lopez in there and it's pretty funny. Some good interactions on that side. Uh, and, of course, the guys, the reds and blues from that other place who were, like, flag-obsessed and <laughs> acted like people from a Halo game would with that sort of juvenile behavior and just silliness. That was really funny, and uh, it was fun having one of those guys just sort of stick around. Uh, and, yeah, just the whole... Thing we left off of with this sort of prophesized thing that Caboose is apparently going to be some great destroyer. It's definitely looking like that's shaping up to be the case. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the dumb one. <laughs> that's fun. I, uh, I'm interested to see what happens next. It should be pretty cool. Uh, and, yeah, just overall enjoying it. Wouldn't say I'm like super invested in it or anything, but it's entertaining and it keeps me laughing. I mean, the humor is still the real big draw, and uh, it's pretty consistent. So uh, yeah, gotta gotta respect that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, good stuff. Hope you liked the commentary. Let me know if you did, and see you in the next one.